I think I'm just gonna take the easy route and say I uh, tech, usually let my art speak for myself, but actually I, I'm the person who likes being behind the curtain, like a puppeteer or something, um, but um, I'm a storyteller, I grew up around storytellers, and although I didn't grow up wealthy or I didn't go through the route of traditional art training, I had a lot of creative people around me, a lot of creative stories, um, I was able to preserve my indigenous like mythology, history, narrative, um, even like the environment I grew up is something that um, I know like my nephew won't be able to grow up because you know things get harder. Um, the environment that I grew up in isn't safe anymore. Even back then it wasn't. And so I think I want to build that world that I grew up in within my art as a way of preserving it because I don't know if I'll be able to tap in like I used to. And so to me, um, I'm gonna keep making art because I have a vault of ideas that I just wanna get out there. And um, I, I, I think that's an advantage I, I can say that maybe a lot of artists don't say is I will like create until I just fall apart. And I think my art kind of shows that, you know, I'm, I'm like challenging myself every time it's brutal sometimes getting them done but i like that it's like I, i'm a sucker for pain but like in the mythology uh, i grew up in it's like self-sacrifice was how you know life happens and i think as an artist we self-sacrifice is how we create you know we do sacrifice a lot I, i'm i'm here for that <laughs> weird i had someone actually mentioned they found my art a bit dark which is ironic, I even want to mention, I think my art has actually gotten more lively. And <laughs> <laughs> so like, I'm like, okay. But I think, I, I will admit, I, I grew up around a brutality of surviving, of a brutality where you, you know violence, you know, people around you are victims of violence and stuff. And so it warps your attitude towards things, and sometimes it can be for the better, where like that cynicism meets, both, um, almost like it becomes a shield. Like, because of that matter, this isn't scary to me. It's not scary to me to show myself in this vulnerability because I survived in many instances that it would be like a waste of those aspects of the chance to survive to not just go for life, take it, and just make the most of it, which is what I want to do. So, yeah.